we await, as we wait for the world of football to return, I've decided to go back in time to take a little look back at the football shirts from the past, ranking them from hit to shit. And in today's video, we're taking a little look at Plymouth Argyle. Right, folks, back once again with another video. Today, we're taking a look back at, of course, some football shirts from the past and ranking them from hit to shit, of course. Which one, of course, from your club's era uh, are ranked highest, in my personal opinion? That's, of course, what this video is all about, and we'll get into it in just a second. Of course, if you're new, where you've been, smash your subscribe button back to all things Rovers related, of course, uh, championship related, world football related. We're going to all hear boys under one roof. Yeah, so we're going to go back to as many shirts as we can, stretching from now. So if if your, if your club has released its shirt for the 2023-2024 season, we'll put that in the mix. We're going to go all the way back to the Premier League era, which of course was the start of the 1992-1993 campaign. So all the shirts from now to then, rang them from hit to shit. So let's get into it. But of course, if you're new, smash your subscribe. Of course, appreciate any support. Uh, and of course, big shout out to the Patreons as well. But anyway, let's get into into it. Okay, folks, next up for us, it is Plymouth Argyle, of course, uh, newly uh, promoted to the championship, of course, excited to see them in action, and of course, excited to see them in their new kit, of course. Do we have that in here? Do we, have they released it? I don't think I've, I don't think I've seen it. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not, not sure if it's been dropped. I am recording this on the 1st of July, so it may or may not have been dropped. But we are going to rank their hit, their kits from hit to shit, um, uh, starting, of course, from when football began in 1992, of course, the dawning of the Premier League era, all the way to the present day. When I say present day, I mean 2022, 2023, for this instance. So let's get into it and waste no more further ado and jump in with this one for the Green Army. Of course, we're going back to 1999, year 2000. That's right. Uh, with this badger, I'm trying to get my data up here. Of course, this campaign, uh, Plymouth playing in the old Division Three. Partick was the sponsor. Evening Herald is green. It's got a nice badge. Uh, it's a good retro kind of shirt to get us going. I think um, it's not what we are accustomed to. I think we're more accustomed to a darker green. Um, but for me, I think it's an all right sort of shirt. I think it's a B. It's a B shirt. Pretty simple stuff. Retro vibes. Uh, next up, of course, we're going to go back a, uh, just a year before. 1998, uh, With an all green shirt, pretty much. It looks like a pack of cigarettes, to be honest with you. A pack of smokes. Uh, this one's an autograph shirt. I am not the biggest fan of this one. Uh, it looks ugly. Uh, no disrespect to Plymouth. I just think this one is a poor... It's a poor shirt. Um, yeah, not not a fan. So straight in there with an F. Now this shirt, so good. You wore it for a couple of seasons, I believe, from 96 all the way through to 1998. Uh, Roto Lock is the sponsor. Again, not really uh, colors or shades of green that you associate with, with Plymouth these days. Very more, much more brighter. Um, it's, I don't know, and I'm, I'm trying to try to gauge my opinion on this one. It's a bit loud. Uh, I think it's okay. I'm going to put that in the C, C grade. But you wore it, you liked it twice. Uh, you liked it because you wore it twice, that's what I'm trying to say. Next up, though, you have this Badgerino. This one's got a bit class to it, now, five, now, six. A bit darker uh, on the green, a uh, bit, bit uh, futuristic as well with the slash down the side. And again, the same sponsor, Roto Lock. Very uh, expertly done with the um, with the uh, the placement of that. So this one I think's got some clout, some 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 longevity. I'm going to put that in the A. I think that's 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 up there. It's a good wild shirt from Plymouth. Very nice indeed. Now we're kicking on forward to uh, actually this, I thought it was a more recent shirt, but this is retro baby. This I tell you now, when I see a shirt that really hits home. It pops out to me. This one is a banger right now. 94, 95. Uh, of course, Plymouth playing in the old school Division 2 here. This one, this one's got some legs to it, lads. Uh, very, It's got the dark green in there, plus the other green, alternative green. Uh, the logo looks banging. The, uh, even the logo of the badge looks good. This is ahead of its time, I believe. Up there in the A. We might be coming back to that. Uh, next up, another shirt you loved uh, uh, so much you wore it twice is this guy. 
uh, from 1992 to 1994, of course, way back when football began. Again, the Rotolock uh, sponsor is good. It's, 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 it's retro-y for me. I like it. It's not the best uh, of their shirts. Um, you know, I'm going to put it in the D. As long as I look at it, the longer I look at it, I, the less I like it. So uh, now we can jump forward a whole bunch of years to 2020 through 2023. Of course, you guys are going to love this shirt because of the, the memories associated with it. Of course, with promotion back to the second tier of English football. It's a good, strong, dark Plymouth green. The Project 35, not sure what the heck that is, um, who that is or what that is. It's a good logo, strong logo, good Puma, Puma badge as well. Uh, you know, I'm going to put that up there. I'm putting that up there in, in the A's, I think. Not only is the, the good memories for you guys for it, but just the way it looks. I think it's a good, strong, uh, good shirt. We, we're, going to have a, we're going to have a problem here, guys. We're going to have a problem because the next batch of shirts, I'm liking a lot. So that's up there in the A's. Next up, we have this one, 2020. One twenty twenty two is the Ginsters. It's the a batch of Ginsters coming at you. They pies. I think they're pies, right? Uh, it's been a while since I've been over the UK. This is a contender. I've got to have a Ginsters one up there. I might even have a couple of Ginsters ones up there because they are that synonymous with the area. Um, the logo looks classy. The green is good, strong. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to put them up here all in a row to see what I like the best. So there's that one. And there's this guy, which I think is, I'm, I'm leaning towards this one where it's just straight up and down green, um, which I like. And there's also this one. These, there's another one as well, actually. Uh, I don't like this one as much, so I'm probably going to put this one already. makes me, it's a bit cheap, those arms. So I'm putting that down in the C. I'll whack it. I'll, I'll sort them out in a minute. This one, though, is better. Um... So these are the three, and, and I can only really put one of the top bins up there. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I actually, I'm going to, I'm going to, what else? It's tough. I'm actually going to put two up there. I'm going to put this one up here. I think that's quality, the dark, the dark stripes. I'm also going to put this other straight up and down green one. I think that's pretty cool as well. I do like, I do like them. This other one is, is good, but... You know, I can't be greedy. And this other Ginsters one can go there. So very good shirts there, Plymouth. Well done. Uh, you're going to have this one here, of course, Ginsters. But the logo is wank on this one. It's a pretty, pretty ugly logo. Not going to not gonna get too much. It's just how, how different a tweak of your logo can be. Because that one looks grim. Grim times. Another Ginsters one here. Uh, better shirt, though. I like the stripes. And the logo just seems a little bit bigger or... or I don't know, but I think I think this is this is this is more my style here. With the, with the thin pinstripes, white pinstripes. What year is that? That was of course 2016, 2017. Then of course we go away from, from the Ginsters to the LTC Powered Access. That's just the most boring of logos. Boring low cut V-neck on that. I like the gold puma, but that's pretty much the only thing going for it. Another LTC, boring, boring, boringness. Uh, the V down the middle here is, is good. Um, yeah. There's not much. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't big that up. I really can't. Uh, next up, another different, different, uh, something that's, that's got some legs. Bond Timber. I don't like, I just like, I like it. I like the name, but I don't even know what, you know, I'm sure it's something to do with wood. Cheeky. Um, yep, well done with the puma and the badge. Going off the green there. But it's 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 decent. I'll put that in the B. I can't go any higher than a B. Another Bond Timber one. Oh, we, we're gonna we're gonna be cheapened out here in a minute. This one, is that is actually a home kit? Looks like an away kit. Is that green? Uh, I'm hoping that's green. Uh, but it's boring though, isn't it? It's not not too much. The next one is is a is is a cartoon. I don't know. I'm sorry, but slim pickings. I'm just going to go with what I assume that's going to be. In fact, I can't. I can't. I'm just going to put that down in F. It's probably a much better shirt than I'm giving it credit for. So down into F, just because poor, poor picture. I don't have that much time. Uh, back to the Ginsters one here with the Adidas 2010, 2011. Uh, Ginsters of Cornwall. Badge is a little different. 
It's got a bit of, um, I don't know, something, something funky about this one, something good. It's definitely better than the next one. I'm, that's another Ginsters that has legs on this one, so I'm going to put them up there in A. This next one, though, pretty shit. Don't like it. Yeah, no, that's that's a D. It's a D one for me. What year is that? That was 2009, 2010. This is a simple Ginsters one. And again, I think you wore this for a couple of seasons, 2007 to 2009. Correct me if I'm wrong. That's straight up and down boring. Yep, sorry guys, that sucks. The next one, uh, you wear this uh, when you're playing golf, this shirt. What year are we looking at? Again, you wore this one for a couple of seasons from 2005, 2007. Yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go C, I'm gonna bump that up there into here. Good, nice collar. Another one you wore for a couple of seasons, 2002, 2004. Uh, nope, to the lie, to the lie. Uh, yeah, no, from 2003, 2005, you wore this shirt here. Um, what, what can we say about this? It's better, it's better than, than some of the other ones. I know I'm not a usual fan of the central crests and stuff, but that's a B, a B candidate for me. But into the final three now. Now I'm, I'm looking at one shirt here and I'm... I'm surprised that this is your home show, but we'll get to them in a minute. It's this one, uh, next, 2002, 2003. It's a good, steady, any kind of shirt here, guys. It's, a, it's an old school Ginsters logo. I'm gonna have to push this one back down uh, and push this one up here. I think this is much better than that one. I'm, I'm being, being critical because details matter. Uh, next up, 2001, 2002. Uh, Different, different sponsor, of course. Herald is it. It's a nice, strong, dark, to maybe a, t a changing of the color here. So there's that guy. I'm going to put one of these in, in the top bins, I think. And there's the other one is this one, which I can't believe is your home kit. It's white with the green stripes. Uh, one of these has to go up there. I'm going to go with the white. I just think it's a little bit different um, for you, for, for Plymouth. This one's strong, though. It's a very strong B. So it's I'm pretty impressed with the selection box that is uh, the old school Plymouth shirts here. But now I've got to pick a winner. I've got to pick a winner out of this. And really, I, I love the Ginsters. I really do. I think they're they're all they're all decent up here. But again, when you see a shirt and you just love it so much, this one for me, retro the Roto Lock. I think this is the, this is this is Plymouth. I'll say Plymouth through and through, but for me, that, that's the best shirt they've got there. And, uh, you know, I, I, I could argue there may be a couple of other ones in there, but when I saw it, I loved it. So, got it. That's mine. That's, well, I, I bought it, but I like it. I like that shirt. Let me know your thoughts and opinions about the shirts from Plymouth Argyle. If you want me to do the away, away shirts, let me know down below. And, of course, please, sure, to let me know your opinion of what shirt you like the best from Plymouth Argyle. There you have it, folks. There you bloody have it. That's my personal opinion of, of course, this club's uh, shirt history. I'm going to rank them from hit to shit. Do you agree or do you disagree? Let me know your personal opinions down below. And, of course, uh, I appreciate any feedback, any comments, of course. We tried to make sure we covered each and every shirt. There might have been one or two that might slip through the cracks. But, of course, we're gonna, tomorrow we're going to do another one. Uh, so make sure you check it out. And, of course, give some love to the channel as well. Subscribe, thumbs up, and, of course, hit the little bell. But until then, guys and girls, I'm going to be bouncing out and I'll see you soon for the next one.